my dear people, welcome back to the damn channel. If anybody followed the Chantel shenanigans from yesterday, um, you already know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. We're all aware, at least the majority of us who, like I said, follow along with Chantel shenanigans are aware that Chantel has been talking about that she wants to move, she wants to get a house to rent, she wants to get like, I don't know, a four to five bedroom house with a pool, with a full basement, with a pool house. Like she, she's really talking about that she wants this extravagant lifestyle. Remember when she got the condo and she was all like how luxurious it was going to be and this and that and the other. Now she wants a house. But the, here's the thing. Here, here's the thing with Chantel. Here's the kicker for those of you who don't know. Okay, she thinks it's best if her and Pete's have their own lives. And by that, I mean moving Pete's out of the picture. Look, let's talk about it, okay? It's, it's okay to want to live by yourself. It's okay to want to have your own life. But here's what's not okay. You guys, we got to go. We need to live lives down now. Take it back to last year, okay? Take it back to last year when Chantel supposedly Chantel was breaking up with BB, but it came out later on that BB broke up with Chantel. We all knew that if we have a brain, we all knew that it was BB that broke up with Chantel, okay? So, the breakup with BB, okay? Remember when she started looking at places to live and everything? Who was the first person that she went to to have a roommate because she herself did not want to live alone? It was Pete's. Pete's was living, you know, with his mom, I think, at the time, and she goes and gets Pete's. And here's the thing. Here's another thing that people, um, you, you, like, you got to remember these things, people. And you got to think about it. Like, Chantel asked Pete to get this place with her because, you know, her and BB were splitting up and she didn't want to live by herself. Fair enough, okay? The agreement, she hasn't just came out and said who pays what or what bills gets paid by who or anything like that. She does say that Pete's pays what he can afford. If Pete was going to go out and get him a place to live, he's not going to go out and find some luxurious condo like Chantel picked to live in. So she was like, she's the one that volunteered to pay the extra. Like, and that's how it should be. Like, if, if you're making a significant more amount of money and I can't afford it, but you want me to live there, then, okay, let's say they pay 50-50 or whatever. Like, he's, he's paying 50% out of his income however you want to look at that, he's paying what he can afford. He's not not paying, you know, and she wants to make it out like she's helping him, but she's the one that wanted to go live in this uh, really expensive condo. It went out of his, you know, what he could afford. She was okay with that. She set him up, and now she wants to take and say, you know, a year later, now she wants to say, you know, I want my own space. You're on your own fine and dandy but you got to remember take it back even six months ago she like that's something you gotta especially because the way she talks she talks like Pete's is real poor which I think is really crazy that Chantel is even talking about the amount of money that Pete's makes on the internet for everybody but the way she talks she acts like you know he can't make it on his own period no matter what like he, he has to have a roommate he has to be living with somebody he has to have somebody to help him pay his bills fair enough but just remember, people, it wasn't six months ago that she had Pete's and all her videos, and she even made a video when she was like, um, yeah, we're really hoping that, you know, Pete's can start doing a whole lot more with me and my videos, and eventually we want him to be able to quit his job and just work with me full time. You know, it was going to be, she even changed the name of her channel to the Chantel and Pete show or something like that. I mean, it was only like that for a day, but still. You've got somebody who doesn't make a significant amount of money. They obviously can't make it on their own. And now you're announcing to the whole internet that you want to live alone and that he's too poor to, to make that happen. How do you think that that makes that? And, but here's, here's the kicker, though. Here's the kicker. you got to remember it's Pete's. You either got a soft spot for him or you don't. I mean, Pete's. She's cheated on you before. Y'all were in a relationship. She totally got with somebody else and completely left you in the dark when that happened, when BB came along. You know what I mean? That was the first time she did it. Now she's getting ready to do it again. 
how long is it going to take before you learn that as soon as this girl like gets herself together or whatever or starts looking and dating and finding somebody else because we don't know why Chantel is all of a sudden like like she's saying they have to move like it has to happen we don't know if she's getting evicted we don't know if this boy this man this dude that she was messing with um wants her to get her own place so they can live together and she can pay for his living space now we don't know what's going on but we know that Chantel wants to move out and we also know that Chantel wants to kick Pete's to the curb you can say it's Pete's fault because everybody has told him because it wasn't like a month ago that Chantel was talking about how she wants to be alone and he didn't take the warning sign then but you gotta think like when somebody is in such a bad mindset and they're already suffering with depression and anxiety and all the things that we can see that Pete struggles with like, he's just gonna, just, he, there's no, like, planning, there's no, um, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, just in case, like, there's none of that, obviously. So now, <laughs> Chantel is embarrassing this man, talking about his finances, talking about how she don't want him around, because, you know, what if she wants to bring a dude over, you know? And this was the guy, like I said, not even six months ago, who she was planning to share her channel with. She goes on to tell the chat, well, if I never quit coddling him, then he's never going to grow up. These two, it's not just Chantel coddling Pete's. Okay, if the coddling is you're paying more of his bills because you wanted this luxurious apartment, um, that's your problem. If you're saying that you're coddling him because you're uh, buying the food or whatever, that, the thing is with the food, Pete's don't cook. You've known that. And if you don't cook, he just eats TV dinners. You're the one that's always, because you got a thing, a problem with food, always shoving food down this man's throat. So the only coddling that I know of are those two things. And I wouldn't consider those coddling. You've got Pete's over there washing your fupa when you had a big abscess on it that had to be drained and packed. And then you got this man changing your socks. But yet you're on the internet hollering about how you're coddling him. How does that, and how does the chat, how, you got to realize people, she's got like 400 members. That means that's 400 people that when these words come out of her mouth, that they just don't remember all this other shit that, that she has said and done on her live streams. This whole move and getting a house thing, not only does she want to move and get a house, okay? Her vaccinations plan, I think she said for Wednesday. And she says when she gets this vaccination, you know, she just wants to be free. She wants to go to Jamaica, I guess, go see her aunt and everything. And she's going to pretty much leave everything behind, the cats included. Remember when she was, like, planning this trip to Jamaica and we were doing, like, the bikinis in the chat and stuff like that? And she was like, yeah, but I don't want to really leave my cats or anything. Now she's, like, legit. The only reason she wants to keep Pete's, her best friend, around is to take care of her animals. She even joked about giving the cats to Bibi. I don't think it was a joke. I think legit, well not the cats. She she said that she wanted to give Sam to Bibi, but then she was like, huh, I never would. I think she was serious. I think she wants to get rid of everyone and everything that's tying her down to where she can't just get up and walk out the door. She tell. That's not how life works. Like we all have responsibilities. Like I just can't pick up and go to, you know, uh, Ireland or go even to New York or anything like that. I got what you want to call responsibilities, okay? I've got kids, I've got cats, I've got a life I've got to take care of, okay? You're just not this free, you know, person to go do that. You've got responsibility to take care of. You can't just go giving away your cat. You've literally had these cats since they were a little bitty, you know? And then you want to stick Pete's in a basement and make him like, how is that supposed to make a person feel like she's not even thinking about it? And she's asked, what's so weird is that she's asking the chat, well, what do you guys think? What do you? These people don't even really know who you are, Chantel, and you're on here asking the internet their opinion on whether or not you should stick Pete's in a basement or actually kick him to the curb. How sad is that? Talking about how it's just not fair. Life's just not fair. You've got two cats to take care of and a best friend that you had move in because your sad ass is breaking up with your boyfriend. Oh, and now that you done lost. Prime example, people. Prime example. Chantel, remember how you said that people only make reaction videos or talk about you because of your weight? And now that you've lost this uh, 60 pounds or whatever and here you are wanting to pack your bags and get on a plane and head across country, 
this lets you know that you're gonna have reaction videos and all the same stuff, probably even more when you lose your weight because it's not your weight, it's your personality, it's the person that you are. She even goes on to say like she doesn't want peeps to give up on life, but she knows that he would. I guess insinuating that if he had to get his own place and that he would actually give up on life. So if you think that, and this is your best friend, and you had him move out of his mom's house to move in with you so you wouldn't be by yourself, and so you have somebody to uh, put on your socks and take the trash out and whatever you could use him for. And that's the thing with Chantel and Pete's. Like, she, does she care about Pete's? I don't think she really does. If I'm being honest, I think that she has used Pete's. I mean, maybe she might care about him some she might care about him some but i think for the most part like she's just used pete's at her disposal you know what i mean like y'all remember when she lived with bb and that was just that was going downhill real fast and i guess her and bb wasn't doing nothing together and he was always working so whenever chantel wanted to do anything or she needed to film for her channel you know she rallied up pete's oh pete's let's go here let's go there and now that she doesn't need him before anymore, just like before when they were in a relationship, when she, you know, found somebody else and she was just like, bye. If she really cared about him, she wouldn't did that to him the first time. So if y'all think that Chantel cares about whether or not she gets Pete to play, she even, look, she was like, well, maybe I'll just get him a one bedroom, like, and pay for it and then pay for me a one bedroom. And then she goes, it would have to be in a shitty building. And no, I don't want to live like, like, what are you talking about? Like, you were literally making out, like, we, like, Pete's don't work and make money. Where's, where's all Pete's money is going? Where's all his money going if he can't afford nothing? If you would literally have to pay for this man to live in a one bedroom and he works full time, 40 hours a week, we hear him in a live stream. And here you are telling the whole world that you're paying his bills. It just don't make sense. It, it don't make sense. She goes from wanting a house, then she's going to get a one bedroom for her and Pete just so they can live on their own. Cause it'd be, it's a whole weird situation. It is. And she's going to end up leaving him high and dry. And she said that he can't go back to his mom's. So basically, uh, he's going to be, he's going to be fucked. But that all lies on him because she's seen, he, he let her do it the first time and then let this happen again after everybody's done warned him that this was going to happen. And he just... He let it happen again. She even talked about after the one bedroom, she was like, well, maybe I'll just send him to another city. Like he's just, like, like okay, okay, you know, like on those movies when people get married and they marry into like relationships where they already ha where they have kids and stuff and they, they send the kids off to like boot camp or, you know, boarding school or something like that. That's what it reminds me of. Like Chantel would be the, um, the villain in movies she'd be the bad guy the disney movies uh cruella de vil uh what's the one from the mermaid movie i can't think but she chantelle is the the bad guy in the movies dude she even had somebody in her chat say well you know pete's needs to get a girlfriend and chantelle's like well you gotta care about yourself first to be a catch and i thought wow wow the nerve of chantelle the absolute audacity of her to sit there and tell these people you gotta care about yourself in order to be a catch she literally was out here banging a crackhead no offense but i'm just saying like she went out here and, and then she couldn't even keep him like she couldn't even keep a bum she couldn't keep somebody that had a mattress on the floor that in a bed for herself you know what i mean like he had a special area for you chantel and it wasn't nice gonna talk about you gotta care about yourself in order for to be a catch for somebody that is crazy that those words would even come out of her mouth she literally let this little bit of weight loss go to her head and what's gonna happen she's just she's just let the weight loss I, I don't know if it's the weight loss I think it's the weight loss the whatever 50 60 40 pounds that she supposedly lost it's this uh finally this guy that finally will stick his thing in her that's got her ego like out to here because she's she's like when she said that you got to care you got to care about yourself to actually be a catch you know in order to get a girlfriend it just it just blew me away man like this girl not only is she just embarrassing her supposed best friend she's just you know she's really not 
when you think about it. Like, she's just embarrassing herself because she's the one that looks bad for getting online, telling all their business. And I don't even think they had really talked about this too much before she got online. And what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should get rid of Pete and get a five-bedroom house with a pool? That's what she wanted. She wanted, because she knows those people are going to tell her. And they, you do see it. Well, you can't. And you see it in the chat. These people say, you can't, you know, keep enabling Pete. You can't be, you can't coddle him. You can't do this. So she wants those people to tell her it's okay to leave Pete's high and dry. That's what she wants. And that's what she'll get to. And that's what she's already getting. Chantel is just, if he doesn't do something, like if he's dumb enough to stick around now, or at least if he's not smart enough to start making moves now, then you can't you can't do nothing for somebody like that. But for Chantel to get on here and act like she does everything for Pete's, we know Pete's works. Where's his money going? You know, he doesn't go anywhere. He buys his comic books, and the rest has to be going for bills. So if you think that Chantel gets, uh, you know, pays all the bills, she doesn't. And she's the one that wanted to get that luxurious, what do you want to call it, to dump of an apartment that Pete's couldn't afford. So it is her responsibility to pay more because she wanted to live there. That's all I got for today, you guys. She had me all kinds of triggered uh, last night and this morning when I finished watching it. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.